Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Speaker, thank you very much for coming to this debate today. The title of this resolution is, Humans Do Not Need Religion, or in other words, Mankind Will Be Better Off Without Religion. This idea seems so logical and so reasonable on the surface. Many people have bitter memories um, from their own personal experiences in religion. Or perhaps you see the horrible crimes perpetrated in the name of religion on television, such as 9-11 or ISIS. Or you may be disgusted by all the money that religious people take on television, television evangelists. It seems that religion does much more harm than it does good. But if you really look closely, under close scrutiny, you will see that the arguments of the affirmative team are all false. Therefore, I state strongly, yes, I state fervently, that I oppose this case. Please allow me a time to explain. First, let me refute their points. The first point was brain freaks. They said by supporting religion, people become brainwashed. That they, religions promote fear. And because of that fear, they attach themselves to a religion and become dependent on it, like a drug, like an addiction. That may be true for some, but not for the majority of people. There are countless examples of how religion has actually helped people to think better and to think more clearly. Here's an example. Have you ever heard of calculus, um, Japanese uh, biseki, bisekibu? Where was that developed? Who developed that? It was developed by Isaac Newton. Under what culture was that developed? It was developed in a Christian culture. Isaac Newton was a very religious man who read the Bible regularly. What was the result? Well, he created a science that extended to allow people to create rockets that puts people on the moon, that allows us to make satellites, that allows GPS systems to be made. That is just one example of how religion doesn't stifle people, but can actually help them and help them think better. The number of victims was their next point. Over 3,000 people were killed in 9-11 um, in this horrible tragedy of perpetrated by members of an Islamic cult. That is true. However, is that number really significant to make us seem like a religion is really bad? If that's the case, then we shouldn't drive cars, because over a million people die every year in auto accidents. But no one goes and says, cars are evil, we should get rid of them. Well, cars are terrible. How many people die due to other accidents that happen regularly? The next was about limits. Religion does put lots of limits on people's choices of clothing, choices of who they can marry, types of food, and etc. And this can create stress when you're around them. But is that limited to religion? Have you ever had dinner with a vegan? I had dinner with a vegan once. She professed no religion. We took her to a restaurant. She could not eat anything. How uncomfortable it was for me. How uncomfortable it was for her. So it's not just these uh, religions that put restrictions on people. Many people today put restrictions upon themselves. And when you ask them why, they just say, I want to do it. Does the vegan lifestyle really create a better planet? Hard to say. But they do put limits on themselves. Now on my side, I have three points. And I'm sure you'll agree that mankind would be better off with religion than without the first point is the failure of atheism. Um, atheism is the idea that there is no God. Many people have the idea the world would be a better place without religion. It would be more peaceful without religion. But they have no evidence to support it. However, there is evidence to support that mankind is not better with atheism. Here's two examples. In 1975, Cambodia created a godless system of government. What was the result of that? In that one year, 1.5 million Cambodians were slaughtered. Not in the name of religion, but in the name of atheism. That was about one seventh, one out of seven people in Cambodia. How about the, the Soviet Union? In the 1950s, the Soviet Union created a state with no religion. What was the result? In the Stalin years, tens of millions of people were killed. Not by religious fanatics, but by people who didn't believe in God. So, these facts show that with, without religion, humans are no better off. 
They will still kill one another, just as they do when they have a religion. Atheism is no cure for a sick mankind. It doesn't make the world better, and it doesn't make it more secure. Our next point is moral sense. It's really impossible for a better world to be created without making better people. So, what separates humans from animals? Humans have a moral sense. We have something that tells us that we shouldn't act on instinct. We have to think about our actions, and we need to make actions that are good for society. But who decides what's right and what's wrong? Who decides what's good and what's bad? Is it the individual? If the individual decides, then we have many problems. Therefore, religion is supposed to help guide people morally. It should help people to be more honest, more corrupt, more um, selfless. Think about it. People who have religion can look at religion and say, I shouldn't do this because God doesn't want me to. But people without religion say, I shouldn't do it as long as I don't get caught. Our third point is satisfying answers. Humans ask questions. Why do we get sick? Why is the world filled with so many problems? Why, what happens when we die? What is the purpose of life? What is the key to happiness? Science cannot answer these questions. Those questions can be only answered in religion. Without religion, all of us will be disappointed and lost. Since religion can answer these questions, we can see that mankind truly needs a religion. Do you like to grope around in the dark? Do you like to be able to walk around in places where you can't see? Well, that's what the world will be like without religion. Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen, in this debate we've talked about the evils committed in the name of religion, but we've also talked about the good that religion does. Just as fire, when it is abused, causes burning and destruction, on the other hand, fire, when used properly, warms and creates life. Therefore, I ask you to do the right thing and think critically and support my side. <laughs>